Gamers, today we're going on a journey to become overpowered. Right now we're looking pretty decent, but nowhere near good enough to be classified as OP. And there's a lot of things we need to get done to get there, so let's get started on our adventure. Alright, so first up, I think upgrading all of our tools and armor to netherite is definitely something that needs to be done. And so we have four pieces of armor and four tools, I'm not including the hoe, and we need four pieces of scrap for each one, which means we need 32 pieces of crap, of crap, <laughs> of scrap in total. Now I do already have a grand total of uh, three ancient debris, meaning three scrap, and so that basically means we need to find 29 more pieces in total. So it's time to head off to the nether, I'm gonna take our track here, down to our little nether city. Hopefully not get shot by this freaking ghast. God damn it, man. Um, you pain in my ass. God damn it. So we're back here at the old nether city. Haven't been here in a little while. Be sure to check this episode out if you haven't already. And now we're going to head down to Y level 15, as I believe that is the best level to mine for ancient debris after a, uh, a quick wiki search. Okay, and I finally found an area that actually allows us to get down to the correct Y level because everywhere else had freaking lava. So uh, yeah, thankfully we found this area and now I'm going to just get started doing a whole bunch of mining. We're going to be doing the uh, chunk border mining method basically meaning that we're going to be holding F3 and pressing G and this is going to show the chunk borders here and we're going to be digging a tunnel pretty much around these borders as I believe ancient debris can spawn more frequently at these borders and yeah I don't actually have any fire resistance potions which I know is very dangerous so we're gonna oh there we go we've already got our first piece hell yeah please don't be lava directly above that oh Jesus Christ all right so yeah we've already got our first piece we're already on the way so I'm gonna get started mining and I'll see you guys probably when I have uh, you know 29 pieces right here all right and with that one piece that I just found we are now officially halfway as you know we do have three back at base so we have 16 which is you know half of 32 the total that we need and uh yeah I kind of underestimated how much uh, work and effort and time would go into this as you can see here's some of my tunnels uh, so yeah I'm gonna leave it there for now and we'll get Get back to mining probably towards the end of the episode just because I have a lot of other things I want to get done now as well but we will be able to upgrade half of our things I'll probably go ahead and do my pickaxe my sword and maybe like a chest plate and my legs or something like that so yeah I'm gonna head back to base and get all of our netherite ingots created and yeah so I'll meet you guys back at base all right gamers we now have our 16 pieces of netherite scrap it's time to turn these into some netherite ingots there we go so with our four ingots we will be able to enchant of course you know four pieces of uh, stuff and I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and enchant our boots and our legs just because they both have protection for uh, I feel like it's gonna make them better than instead of like you know instead of upgrading this that doesn't have protection I don't know how it really works uh, I just think it's going to be better upgrading the ones that have protection what is that you say Minecraft is basically your job at this point and you should know that yeah you're right shut up okay so let's slap in our legs first and uh, our netherite ingot uh, I'm just going to do it like that because I'm kind of scared it's going to use all of them for some reason. Bang, there we go. First piece of netherite armor, finally, at episode, like, what are we up to? 13 or something like that? Jesus Christ, man. And there's our boots as well. Let's chuck those on, and damn, man, we are looking swagger out here. And next, let's just go ahead and do our silk touch pickaxe. And for the final one, well, not really final one, just final one for now, we'll do our sword because why not? And that adds an extra whopping one point of attack damage and a whole bunch of durability as well. That'll be pretty good. All right, and there we go. We've finally got our first netherite armor and netherite tools. Very glad we've gotten that done. We, of course, uh, you know, are only halfway. We still have a long way to go. I'm going to get to that towards the end of this episode, probably. And so, yeah, now with that done, that pretty much leads us on to the second phase of this video, where we are actually going to be finally fighting and defeating, hopefully, the Ender Dragon. I've been a little bit reluctant to do it, just because I felt like I was going to, you know, die during the fight. But now that we finally have some enchanted armor and tools and stuff, I feel like we are pretty much well equipped now to defeat the Ender Dragon. But before we can actually... Oh, you're kidding me, you piece of shit. You absolute little prick. Come here. Oh my god, man. What it? Just... Come on. Come on. Yes! And yeah, so before we can, of course, fight... And yeah, so of course, before we can fight the Ender Dragon, we need to find the Stronghold. And of course, before we can find the Stronghold, we need to find the Nether Fortress, which thankfully I did find. While I was trying to spot an area to dig for our Netherite, I actually spotted the Nether Fortress, and it's pretty much just right in front of our Nether City over here. Yeah, I was just kind of looking around this area from our city. Oh my god, man, I'm sick of these pricks. Like, honestly, dude, just thank you. See you later. 
Oh, of course, there's another one. I'm gonna lose my shit. I swear to God, man. Come here. I've had enough. See you later, dickhead. Like I was saying, I was perusing the area over here, and then I stumbled across this uh, juicy, nice little, uh, whatever it's called, nether brick. And yeah, so I'm going to hope and pray. Oh, yes, it actually does look like we have a blaze spawner right freaking there. That is awesome, dude. So that is exactly what we need. Of course, you know, blaze rods so that we can make some ender eyes. There we go. There's our achievement. Oh, no, we have a willow skeleton. Okay, settle down, buddy. And yeah, before we get too stuck into, uh, you know, slaughtering the blazes, Let's maybe just uh, have a quick peruse around the fortress here to see if we can find anything uh, particularly interesting. Oh my f***ing god, you little prick. See you later, dick knob. But uh, yeah, honestly, it looks like this fortress is pretty much mostly like the exterior stuff. I don't know if there's going to be, uh, you know, the interior. Okay, it does actually look like we have an inside area over here where, you know, the chests would be, which is, uh, yeah, right here. Hopefully we can find some nether warts as well. That would be very, very good. We can actually start brewing with that. So let's go down here and see where this takes us. Okay, there's our first chest. Let's see what we get. Golden horse armor, kind of dog water. Flint and steel. Yeah, what the heck? That is pure, absolute garbage. Okay. Okay, we found some nether warts. That is very, very good. Let's grab all of that stuff. Okay, it's not looking like we're going to be finding uh, many more chests here. This uh, nether thing kind of sucks. That's the chest we already looked at. God damn it, man. <laughs> Okay, we got this way over here to go down. Let's see if we can find anything extravagant. Ooh, okay, there's a magma cube and what looks like another chest. Oh my god, guys, it's pure garbage. <laughs> Okay, well, um, yeah, that was a pretty big waste of time. I'm going to head back to the blazers and just farm them up for a while. I don't know how long I'm going to stay there for. Basically, I want to get enough blaze rods to where I never have to come back to this shite hole. And so, yeah, I'll get back to you guys once, uh, you know, we've got enough blaze rods. Gamers, oh my god, we just got a wither skeleton skull from freaking... I've killed, like, maybe five in total. Jesus Christ. Okay, that is very lucky. I don't know, I just felt like I uh, should have recorded that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, settle down, mate. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty lucky. Just a quick update. Yeah, you know, we're at 10 blaze rods now. I've killed probably like another 20. We're getting very unlucky in terms of the drops. In the meantime, I have been just going around to all these endermen and, you know, slaughtering them because we're going to need those ender pearls. And yeah, so, you know, I'm just going to keep grinding away and uh, I'll update you guys again in a second. Okay, after spending about half an hour here, we have ended up with 29 blaze rods and we also have 15 ender pearls that I've just gotten from, you know, just like staring at endermen off in the distance and bringing them here. Okay, we might actually end on 30. That'd be pretty nice. There we go. We've got 30 blaze rods. Hell yeah. That should last us quite a while, hopefully. And yeah, so I'm going to head back to base, make a whole bunch of ender eyes, and uh, yeah, then we'll get started trying to find the stronghold. Okay, gamers, we're back at base. I've got pretty much everything I need here to defeat the Ender Dragon. We've got our Eyes of Ender as well. And so now it is time to figure out which way we need to start heading. Let's chuck this bad boy up. Bang. All right, so it looks like we're heading this way. Okay, still on the trek to uh, the old stronghold, but on the way here, we've actually found a bit of a village here. Ooh, and a freaking uh, brewing stand. Hell yeah, that's awesome. That'll save us some blaze rods, I believe. I'm pretty sure it uses blaze rods to make. Got some bread and a saddle as well. Cool, cool. Let's see what else we can get. Ooh, some more beds. That'd be good for uh, defeating the old ender dragon. Any more juice for your boy? Okay, another piece of bread. I'm not even gonna bother taking that. We'll grab this though. Oh my god, dude. What has happened to your house here? Freaking creeper got to it or something. All right, that pretty much does it for that village. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw another ender eye just to make sure we are on track. I do believe the number that we were looking at was 20, if you can see it there. So let's chuck another one and have a look. Okay, we're actually going this way now, which is negative 22. So hopefully that means it's kind of close. Okay, and it's... We're going to have to go over the ocean. Actually, no, that's a good thing. That means travel should be nice, quick, and easy going over this. Let's just hope that it isn't under the ocean because then it's going to be annoying to get to. So I'm going to head over here real quick and make a boat or two. All right, and I already kind of forgot which way we're actually supposed to be going. Uh, but yeah, I believe it is uh, vaguely this direction. So let's get going. Okay, and it looks like we have actually reached land. Uh, yeah, we didn't really go that far. I probably traveled for maybe 30 seconds from the other side over there. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and throw another ender pearl. Ender eye, eye of ender, whatever it is. And let's see. Oh, Oh my god, okay. I just got, I don't know why that just gave me goosebumps, but that means the stronghold is going to be in this ocean somewhere. So let's start heading back. I might head like maybe halfway in between the two lands here, and then we'll throw another Eye of Ender. Okay, so maybe about here. Let's uh, go ahead and chuck it up. Okay, so we still need to keep going this way. Okay, so we must be pretty close, because just over here it was telling us to go the way that we're like coming from. So let's, uh, let's throw another one here. Okay, why... I'm kind of confused now, because 
we just threw it from over here and it told us to go the opposite way. So either it's directly below us or I have majorly stuffed up somehow. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and throw another one here. Okay, yeah, it's telling us to go that way. What the hell, dude? Rightio, we're just gonna follow the instructions. Let's just start uh, throw another one for good measure here. Okay, now it's telling us to go back this way. Okay, so the stronghold must be pretty much below us at this point, like right here, I'd say. So let's chuck another one. Like, isn't it supposed to go underground when you're close? Man, this is confusing the hell out of me. Uh, I might just dig down and uh, hope that we find it. Yeah, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, gamers, do you see what I see? Well, it looks like we were pretty much exactly bang on here. And here we are at the stronghold. Jesus Christ. This has been a long time coming, man. And I'm kind of nervous, kind of scared. Uh, hopefully this one actually has a, a an end portal as well, because I know they have a chance to not have them at all. That would kind of suck. So I'm going to do a little bit of exploring here and uh, yeah. Hopefully we find the end portal and uh, maybe some fat loot at the same time. Oh, speaking of loot, oh my god. What the hell? We can't even use that. It's got so many different enchantments. What the f <laughs> What the hell? Is that like... Is that like really rare or something? Jesus, that is so weird. I've never seen anything like that. But yeah, that is the weirdest book I've ever seen. Tell me guys in the comments if that's normal, like if that's a common thing, or if I'm absolutely giga chad lucky out here. I have a feeling it's probably pretty common. I'm just an idiot. Oh Jesus, this whole area is like destroyed or something. What the hell? It goes down here? Like what the hell? This is so weird. I haven't seen a freaking stronghold like so broken like this one. That's so cool. Kind of just want to find the end portal at this point though. Oh, even a library would be pretty good as well. Getting all those books and stuff. Whoa, golly G, mate. I actually just said golly G. What the hell am I on, dude? All right, well, this floor seems to be pretty crap, so let's head back up. Oh, gamers, do you see what I see? Hell yes, we have found a library. That is awesome. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a lot of space for this, so, uh, yeah. What was that sound? Do you guys hear that? I literally... I just got... Go Dude, the goosebumps won't stop. That is the weirdest sensation I've ever felt in my life. That, I don't know what that sound was. I'll probably replay it, like, super loud. I literally still have goosebumps, dude. Like, my eyes are watering. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. I might even literally go listen to it back now. Okay, I watched the footage back and I, I could not hear anything. There's no sound recorded in the footage, so I have no idea what that was. But it literally, dude, it sounded like a demonic, like, really low-pitched villager grunt. It was like, oh, oh. I don't, I, like, that, that's not even close to what it was. But I have no idea what that was. I'm getting goosebumps even just freaking thinking about it. Uh, so yeah, that was definitely a very weird experience. Um, now, unfortunately, we do not have any space to pick up these books. Um, so what I might do is actually come back to this and explore a little bit further. Oh my god, you're kidding me. We have a... N we have another freaking library. Oh my Jesus Christ, dude. All right, well, we're going to be pretty much set on books for a while now. Oh my God, there is so much. Oh, we've even got a chest. What the hell? I didn't know there was chests in these. What do we got? Quick charge and respiration. That's kind of poo, isn't it? Let's see if the other one has a chest. Oh, yes, it does. Dude, I'm still spooked out by that sound. I don't know what that was. Um, okay, so we've just got a bunch of books, paper, and then this book. Can you even use these? Like, why is there so many different kinds of enchantments on the same book? Like, we can't put Efficiency, Riptide, and Protection 3 on one thing. That's like three separate enchantments for three separate things, man. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know if you can just take one of those off and use it. But uh, yeah, we still have not found the portal yet. I uh, am honestly getting kind of worried because I have no idea what we'd do if there was no portal here. Maybe go this way. Oh, yes. Oh, thank God, man. And the freaking silverfish. Okay, we need to get rid of that spawner. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, let's just go ahead and fill all of these up with our eyes of ender. There we go. We now have an end portal ready to go. I am absolutely scared shiteless. And I am very nervous. We're ready to go. I've got everything in the hot bar that I need. Actually, we should probably put beds here, eh? I don't know if I'll be using the beds, but um, we'll see. Gamers, it is time to head to the end. Okay, we are here, gamers. I am absolutely, I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared shitless. It has been a very long time since I fought the Ender Dragon in survival. I think I've only done it once back in my old Pro Builder SMP, but here we are. Wow, it looks beautiful with these shaders. Holy crap. Oh, and I need to make sure I don't look at Enderman. God damn it, man. Come here, you prick. Oh, God, he's slapping me around real good. Oots! Get out of here, mate. Okay, we need to not look at the Enderman, and let's start destroying these health healing crystal majiggies. There's one, first shot, and holy crap, I'm kind of goaded out here, what the hell? Oh, what is that aim? That was the first shot. Okay, we didn't get that one, That's um, that kind of sucks. I've got my buckets of water ready and everything, so that we uh, hopefully do not die of fall damage. 
But yeah, literally, the whole series could come to an end right now if I'm not being careful enough. Okay, these ones are proving to be quite the challenge. I might just make a tower up to this one and, uh, you know, shoot them from up here. Because I do not have that many arrows. I tried to make as many as I can. Yeah, I've only got 42. Oh, this one's not even here. Okay, sweet. Let's get that one, that one, all the way over there. And let's hope we can reach that one. I think about there we'll get it. No. Nah. There we go. Okay, all crystals are destroyed. Let's go back down and finally defeat this bloody dragon. Hopefully I have enough arrows left. 27. Oh man, that does not look great. Okay, water. Bang, we're good. Jesus. That was kind of scary, not gonna lie. All right, straight into action. Let's go. American Sniper. Okay, that does not a lot of damage. Holy crap. All right, let's set up one of these thingies to place the bed on. I don't exactly know, like, the strat. Oh my Jesus Christ, man. So I know that it like hurts you and stuff. So yeah, I don't exactly know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I just threw an ender pearl. Oh my God. I did not mean to do that. Holy crap. Okay, he is now perched. Let's try and attack his head. Okay, we did a little bit of damage. Not the best, but you know. Oh, free ender pearls? Hell yeah. <laughs> he's just killing his own guys out here. What is he doing? Oh, he's coming down. He's coming down. I don't know exactly where to stand to not get knocked away. Oh, and he destroyed my bed. You prick. Let's just let's just whack him in the head. And he's gone. Rightio, buddy. All right, he's over halfway. We have 13 arrows left. We're not looking great. Let's try and get him to perch again, hopefully, and we can get some wax off on him. And maybe even a bed smack. There we go. Let's stand here and whack the crap out of him. Oh, he's so close to death, man. Dude, he's so close. We are so close to defeating the Ender Dragon. I'm actually so excited. We're gonna be able to go and get a freaking Elytra. That is gonna be awesome. Look how low he is on health. That is so good. Come on, you prick. Let's try this. All right. Bed. He destroyed it. You prick. All right. It's all good. We're gonna kill him. Last shot. Yes. There we go. We have defeated the Ender Dragon. See you later, buddy. Oh, look at all that XP. And it's getting burned. It is getting burned. Oh no. I forgot about that. I really should have put out the fire. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, look at all those levels. Oh my god. I completely forgot about that. Holy crap. Level 65. That is awesome. Let's get our torch. Let's right click that. Where did it go? Over here. Okay. Let's get our egg by placing the torch there, destroying that. Bang. There we go. We have finally done it. We've finally beaten the game. I'm not going to jump in here just yet because I actually want to go up into this bad boy over here and find some elytras. Well, I mean, we probably only need one because we're going to slap mending on it. Yeah, honestly, I don't like doing this like, like this is worse than defeating the ender dragon to me. Freaking amen. Oh my god, dude, I let go of shift right there. Holy crap. I'm actually stupid. Okay, let's surround this with some blocks so that we can make sure we get the ender pearl like right in there. And let's chuck that. Okay, that didn't work. That's kind of scary. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, we're now in the end. Well, the end like islands area. I don't know. And uh, yeah, now I'm just going to go ahead and wander around until we find a goddamn end city. Hopefully this doesn't take long. My luck with these is not very good. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And I did not bring a lot of blocks with me as well because I'm an absolute idiot. God damn it, man. And yeah, this just about sums up my luck here. I've got my render distance set up to the absolute max, which I kind of feel like is cheating. I mean, obviously it's not, but I don't know. I just feel bad for using it. But yeah, as you can see, all the way around me, absolutely no freaking cities, man. God damn it. This is going to take forever. Ooh, gamers, do you see what I see? Hell yes. Oh, we got a big ass freaking city over there. Hell yeah. Now, the one thing we want mainly is a freaking boat thing because... Oh my god, what am I doing? Are you serious? There is no boat. Oh no, the boat is the one thing that we want, because it has the elytra inside. And of course, this one does not have one. God, that is literally my luck summed up in like, yeah, you know? All right, well, we're going to get over there and uh, explore it a little bit. And yeah, I'm not looking forward to dealing with the shulkers, because yeah, they are so annoying. Oh my god, yes, there is another city right there. Just as I'm approaching, I see another one off in the distance. I am praying that that one has a goddamn boat, man. I swear if it doesn't, I'm going to cry. Like actual tears. Okay, we're here. And it... Dude, it doesn't look like there is a boat. Are you actually kidding me? I'm about to lose my mind with this freaking game. There is no boat. Oh my god. Well, 
it's time to get up in this bad boy. Um, yeah. I'll probably meet you guys at the top when we find some juicy loot. Okay, we've reached the top of the main tower and the two notable pieces of loot here. Uh, we've got a decent sword for spiders and then this protection two chest plate. Uh, we might be able to combine it with that one. And then, yeah, just a bunch of gold and some other random, like, enchanted iron tools, which I cannot be bothered grabbing. Yeah, these things are so annoying, dude. I forgot how, like, actually annoying they are. Like, oh my god. They just don't quit. Okay, freaking a million shulkers later, we've made it to this little tower. Let's see what we got. A bunch of iron tools. Oh, we've actually got a diamond one here. Oh, is that better than our current shovel? Oh, actually it is. It has fortune. I don't know exactly what that would do, but we might as well grab it. We also got some diamonds as well. Hell yeah. Now, I might as well use these ender chests because they'll be picking them up. So let's just chuck all of our crap in there that we don't really need at the moment. Cool. Let's grab that and uh, continue going. Okay, so that just about does it for that city. And uh, actually heading over to this one, I just discovered another one. Oh, yes, it actually has a boat as well. Thank God for that. Because I... Dude, I swear to God, if we found another city and it didn't have a boat, I'd actually, like... I know I said I'd cry before, but I would actually have cried if this one didn't have a boat, okay? Let's get the hell over here real quick and grab that freaking elytra, finally. And then I might as well explore that one and that one to try and get some more enchanted stuff. All right, here we go. End of pearl over. Bang. Please don't miss. Okay, that was kind of scary for a second there. Let's get in here. Oh, what have we got in here? Instant health. I'll take that. I will also be taking your brewing stand. Thank you. Oh, and here it is. We've got one guard, of course. They just, they just don't give up, man. It's... Ah! Just stop. There it is, gamers. But just before we do that, let's check these chests. Oh my god, that's some good stuff. What the hell? Yoink. What's in here? Oh my god. Okay, we've got a lot of good stuff to combine with our existing armor. Hell yeah. But here it is. The main thing I've been trying to get this whole time. Bang. Straight into inventory. Yes. I'm going to take that item frame as well. <laughs> But there it is. Yes, dude. We can finally fly. My flying skills are going to be probably very rusty. So, yeah. I should honestly probably practice in another server because I've seen clips of people dying from flying elytras in their hardcore worlds. Uh, I believe it's... Yeah, it's hold space. That Dude, that's literally how freaking rusty I am. But, uh, let's go. Dude, stop, man. All right, well, this will give us a nice, like, launching height at least. Oh, actually, there's a, there's a dragon head down there. I want to get that. Oh my god, okay. Let's grab this dragon head. I need these freaking things to stop shooting at me, man. Like, how do you know I'm here? You can't even see me. God freaking A, man. This is frustrating to deal with. Let me just tell you that. Okay, let's get this dragon head so that we can use it for a nice decoration piece. Sweet as. Let's chuck that on our head. Now... <laughs> That looks so weird. What the hell? <laughs> All right, now gamers, let's go fly over to the next end village uh, city. Oh my god, this is so weird. Being able to fly is just like so weird. Oh my god. Are we going to make it? Jesus Christ, that was scary. Okay, let's slow down. There we go. Okay, we, sh we should be good. But that is going to make travel so much easier. Back at base, we can literally just fly to everywhere instead of having to worry about walking everywhere. It's literally so annoying to deal with. But yeah, I'm going to investigate this end city. If I can even get inside, man, this is so annoying. Yeah, I'm going to uh, check this out. Hopefully we can get a little bit more juicy loot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, what have we got up here? Oh, that's some decent legs. We've also got a pickaxe. That is pretty decent as well. We've got a bunch of diamonds too. Hell yes. Let's chuck all of that good stuff in there. Oh, this is what half of my freaking end city exploration has looked like right now. This has got to be the most annoying, like, enemy-like power, dude. Like, why? It just levitates you. Ugh. And you just can't do anything. You're just sitting there helpless like an idiot. Oh, damn it, man. You can, can you guys tell I'm frustrated yet? All right, we've got some decent boots. Um, cool, dude. Let's chuck that in. Let's grab this. These end chests will definitely come in handy as well for building and stuff. I don't have to put chests everywhere. I can just fill up an end chest, take one with me, put crap in it. And you know, Bob's your uncle. Now, I don't even think there's anything up here, so I'm not even going to bother. We're just going to go straight back down, all the way down. And we do have that whole side to deal with unfortunately. So let's go over there. Now, although these guys are very, very annoying, their shulker little things will be good for, you know, get, making actual shulker boxes, which will definitely come in handy again for building. I mean, that pretty much makes the ender chests obsolete because, you know, we can just carry those around with us. Oh, some emeralds. Okay. Well, I think that is about it for the end cities because I don't think there's anything else up here as far as I know. Oh, it's one of these rooms. God, this is hell, guys. Okay, there is chests up here. It was worth it at least. Let's see what we got. Okay. Diamond pickaxe mending efficiency four. That's pretty good. Oh my God. That is a good pickaxe, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. We got some more diamonds as well. Let's head up here. I think this is just the roof. Yep. Nothing up here except for this absolute piece of crap. 
Okay, well that pretty much concludes our uh, end city voyage out here. I might have a scout around for those uh, little thingies, you know what I'm talking about, that take you back to the overworld. Oh, is that one over there? Yes, it is. Hell yes. Okay, let's just, you know, levitate all the way over here and fly down to that bad boy. It is time to go back home. Thank God for that. Okay, and now it is time to finish the game. Roll the credits, boys. There it is. Okay, this is going very slow. See you later. And we're back. Okay, where the hell are we? And what is that? Ooh, XP? More XP? Hell yeah. I think this is the spawn for the world, actually. Yeah, it looks like it is. I kind of remember this. Well, it looks like we've got a big trek ahead of us. I'm going to have to pull up my home coordinates. I have written them down, thankfully. Um, but yeah, the Elytra should hopefully make it easier to get back. And here we are, gamers. Home sweet home. Thank God those coordinates were the right ones. I literally just have home base written down in a freaking notepad file with the chords. So if that was from like the old series, um, yeah, that would have sucked. All right, now that we're home, I'm pretty much going to uh, go ahead and get a whole bunch of my golden carrots back. One of the perks of having uh, farming villages makes that nice and easy. And yeah, now with that, I'm pretty much going to head straight back into the nether and get the remaining netherite that we need. 16 in total. So yeah, I'm going to go do that real quick right now. I just want to showcase how bad my luck is. I'm going to run all the way through this tunnel where I did not find a single piece of freaking ancient debris. So yeah, that entire tunnel, how crap is that, man? Jesus Christ, not a single piece. Oh my god, that first clip does not even come close to how, like, unlucky I have been. Literally, times that tunnel that I showcased, maybe by, like, seven or eight. I've done seven or eight more of those tunnels, and I've only just found some goddamn debris. Jesus Christ I don't know what is up with my luck. I've literally just resorted to like rage mining. Instead of mining along the edges of the chunks, I'm literally just destroying chunks of the freaking area here. And only then have I actually just found some debris. Honestly, I think I'm just going to keep doing this until I find more because uh, yeah, this strategy doesn't seem to be working anymore. I don't know if it's because I've exhausted like all of the uh, debris in these chunks by mining along the edges. Honestly, I don't think I have. I mean, I haven't even gone down to this area yet. So I have no idea why my luck is so bad, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna stop complaining now and you guys will see me once this number right here is 16. Oh, and there it is gamers. We finally got 16 debris. The amount that we need to enchant everything that we have here. I have no idea why we were so unlucky in that last half of uh, debris that we were collecting, but yeah, that definitely sucked. Okay, and so now while that's smelting away over there, I wanna combine some of the items that we found in the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the end area with some of the armor that we already have. Like this one here, protection four would be nice nice on our helmet. Let's see how much that costs. 17. Jesus Christ. Okay. That is pretty expensive, but, um, we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> now, I also want to put fire protection on these legs. Uh, oh, that kind of sucks. So we can't do it, but we can't actually combine. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that. You can't combine netherite and diamond armor together. That kind of sucks. Oh, well, we can live without that. I think that's still pretty good. We also got this sword as well from the end city. Looting two, smite four, unbreaking three. That's a very good sword for killing zombies. And also any mobs where we want to get more of their drops, thanks to looting two. Now, I just want to check something. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> I didn't think you could, but I just wanted to make sure. Okay, and now with our netherite scrap done, let's grab that out. Let's head back over to our crafting table and, uh, you know, make these into some ingots. Okay, we're gonna need more. There we go, we got plenty over here, don't worry. And let's turn these into our final four pieces of netherite ingots. There we go. Now we can head over to this bad boy, chuck those in, and now let's upgrade our axe, our shovel, our helmet, and finally, our diamond chest plate. There we go, look at that. We have got a full suit of netherite armor, and we also got full netherite tools as well. Hell yes. And now the final thing I want to do is slap a mending book onto our elytra here. Bang. That way we never have to worry about this breaking. And I also want to chuck a mending book onto this new sword that we've gotten as well. There we go. All right. And so with all of that, I think we are now considered OP. If you think I'm missing anything that would classify me as OP, be sure to let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.